Hi, Christina Brown here with the Brown team. We are in a market where there are multiple buyers fighting over the same houses and you want to stand out when sellers are looking at these multiple offers so that they will hopefully select your offer. So I am just going to give you some thoughts on maybe why you should consider conventional. Even if FHA may be better for you or USDA or VA, maybe you should still consider going conventional if you qualify. I came up with these seven advantages from a seller's perspective if they accept a conventional borrower over any other type of borrower. So these are the seven things I could think of. One of the greatest advantages of a conventional mortgage to a borrower is there may not be PMI mortgage insurance but that is if you put 20% down. So going 20% down at least will alleviate PMI for you, but also if you're able to put 20% down, that will speak volumes to that seller. That's one advantage. My second advantage is, first of all, conventional mortgages are not government-backed loans. So we know that VA, FHA, USDA, those are all government-backed loans, right? So if a borrower doesn't pay they get bailed out by the government that is not the case with conventional mortgages conventional mortgages therefore are riskier to that financial institution because they are riskier loans for the financial institutions we see that they have a lot of higher standards you may be able to get a better interest rate as a borrower which is definitely an advantage as a borrower but they also usually require higher credit scores so from a seller's perspective they like that somebody that's putting down three and a half percent definitely does not look as strong in a seller's eyes of somebody putting 20 percent down so that's definitely an advantage from a seller's perspective the next thing is borrowers with you know average to lower credit history or more recent issues with bankruptcies or late pays or things like that may not be able to go conventional that means that conventional borrowers will have a better more recent history too so again from a seller's perspective that can definitely seem advantageous again that that borrower is more solid in their financing so more solid because like I said, we know that they're pickier on your recent financial history. And then the next thing is conventional loans often require lower debt to income ratios. That means the person has less debt, you know, a lower percentage of debt to how much money they're bringing in. So a lower debt to income ratio is another thing that we see in order to qualify for conventional. So again, in a seller's eyes, again, it's just another thing that makes you feel more solid. And then usually, of course, conventional borrowers, it's a higher down payment amount. They do have a first time home buyer program. If you have not owned a home or at least not owned a home in the last three years, then you can qualify for 3% down. So if you're stacked up against offers, somebody's putting 20% down, you're putting 3% and everything else is the same in the offer, they will probably choose the 20% down. However, if it's between an FHA borrower putting down 3.5% and a conventional borrower putting down 3%, they will likely go with the conventional borrower for these other reasons that I've mentioned and going to mention. And then because it is not a government-backed loan, the underwriting process at the end of the deal is a lot faster. It's simplified. We don't have to go through government underwriting, just the financial institutions underwriting that they do. So they can typically close faster. A lot of times a seller wants that buyer to get to the closing table faster. Even if the seller wants more time to find something and they want to drag it out, at least you can get your final approval faster. And that could be another advantage in a seller's eyes to selecting a conventional buyer in multiple offers. And then the last thing, and most borrowers will bring this up and they know about it. So the appraiser, when they come and do their evaluation of the property, they are not as nitpicky as with a government backed loan. So they're more lenient on the condition. That is definitely an advantage in a seller's eyes. So these are 
some of the main reasons why I definitely think in this multiple offer market that we are in, you as a borrower should definitely consider going conventional because it could really make you stand out and help you get your offer selected. Again, if you have questions, you need anything, reach out. We're here to help. Have a great day.